Well, just weeks after we told you about a dangerous drug your kids could be doing right under your nose, state health officials are now considering a ban. ABC2 News Josie Sturman joins us now with the details. Josie? Well, Kelly, bath salts have not been a big problem here in Maryland yet, but the designer drug has caused serious issues in some other states, so Maryland's health department is trying to stay ahead of the curve, and that may mean banning bath salts before they take off here. We told you about bath salts during an ABC2 News investigation last May. Although they sound like the stuff you put in the tub, they're really a man-made drug that acts like meth or coke, and it can be fatal. Coming up tonight at 11, we'll tell you what the state is looking Looking at to decide whether a ban is needed here. It's become an issue they can't ignore because although there haven't been a ton of cases in Maryland, the number is growing. The increase in calls to Poison Center is alarming and something that we need to be concerned of, but it's not readily available here in Maryland, which is nice. We really have not found many places that are selling it, uh, so we're hoping to again stay ahead of the curve with that before it becomes uh, more readily available. It's and tonight at 11, we'll tell you how many more bath salts cases have been added to the logs here in Maryland since our last story a few weeks ago. And we'll talk about how long it could take to put a ban in place. In the meantime, check out our synthetic drug guide. We put it on abc2news.com. If you scroll down on our homepage to the spotlight section, you'll see it here. Synthetic drug guide. If you click on it, this comes up. And it's everything you need to know about drugs like bath salts or spice, things your kids may be getting into. We'll tell you about the signs, the symptoms, hear from emergency room doctors and people from the DEA about why you should be concerned about those drugs. You'll find it on abc2news.com. Josie Sturman, ABC2 News.